And finally, we will be getting as 3 minus log 2, which is equal to 3 minus log 2 point three zero one zero. This we can get it from the logarithmic tables book. So this 3 minus log point three zero, 3 minus log 2 is point three zero one zero. So finally, this comes as 2.6990. Now, this will be the POH value for us. But actually, we have to calculate the pH value of all these solutions. After knowing the pOH value here, this will continue this side. That is it. So, pOH we got the value as 2.699. And we need to calculate now the pH value. So, therefore, applying the formula pH plus pOH is equal to 14. Therefore, pH is equal to 14 minus 14 minus pOH. pH value is 2.699 we have. Therefore, the value is equal to 10.3010 we have now. So, this is the answer for this particular problem. So, whenever basicity is differently given, acidity is differently given, we can now calculate applying this formula first. Means we are getting OH minus ion concentration first. From there, we are calculating pOH value. Using this pOH value here, and finally, we are getting the value of a pH value for us now. So, this is the thing which we have. So, now we have seen the two cases when the regarding the calculation of pH for base. For the third case, we need to take up that is when the weight of base dissolved in certain volume of water is given. So, they will be giving us the weight of an alkali as well as the volume of the water. The first step is that we will be calculating there the concentration of the base must be calculated applying the formula of normality. From there again we need to calculate the OH minus ion concentration and then finally pOH. From there pH value must be calculated. Let us take a simple problem like this where 2 grams of sodium hydroxide say 2 grams of sodium hydroxide say is dissolved is dissolved in 500 ml water. Now what is the pH value of this particular solution for us now? Now here the first step lies like this. We need to calculate normality of the sodium hydroxide solution. Normality implies you are calculating OH minus ion concentration only. Therefore, normality is equal to basic formula you are using here. Weight of the base by its equivalent mass into 1000 by volume must be applied here. So, weight of the base is 2 grams for us and equivalent mass of sodium hydroxide is 40 and then into the formula is 1000 we have by the volume of solution. Volume of solution is given as 500 here. So, this is 500. So, which is equal to on simple calculation what we have is so 0.1 we are getting finally. So, we got the normality of the solution as 0.1 which is equal to 10 to the power of minus 1. And for the base the normality is also equal to the hydroxyl ion concentration only. Therefore, this value is nothing but OH minus ion concentration of that base. So, once OH minus ion concentration is known to us, then we can calculate the pOH value of the base. So, pOH is equal to minus of log OH minus, which is equal to minus of log. This OH minus ion is 10 to the power of minus 1, 10 power minus 1 we have, which is finally equal to 1 for us. This 1 is only the pOH value of the solution, but not pH and we need to calculate the pH value. Again applying the same formula that is pH plus pOH is equal to 14. Therefore, pH is equal to 14 minus the pOH value is 1 here, 1. Therefore, it is equal to 13 for us. So, this is the, the last category which we have wherein the weight of the base and the certain volume of water is given. So, with this we have covered the calculation of the pH value of solutions. In the case of the acids, second one in the case of the bases we have. In the following thing, again we are going to discuss when the mixture of acids are given, then coming towards mixture of bases are given, when mixture of acid as well as base is given, how to calculate. These things will be followed later on. So now today we are seeing the calculation of the pH of mixture of solutions. Under this three different categories will be coming. One is the 
calculation of pH of mixture of only acidic solutions we have. Second thing is only the basic solutions and finally the third one is a mixture of acids as well as bases. Means we can say that mixtures will follow under three different categories now. Mixtures wherein only acidic mixtures are there. Only acidic mixtures and then only basic mixtures and then mixture of mixture of acids and bases means the third category normally what happens is sometimes we will be getting neutral solution sometimes we are going to get acidic solution sometimes basic solution depending upon the concentration as well as the volume of solution that is being taken now the first one we are seeing now that is the only when acidic solutions are given to us we will take a simple example here let us take the problem of this type that is uh, when problem is like this is 100 ml <coughs> 100 ml of 0.5 normal HCl and 200 ml of 0.5 normal 0.5 normal HCl are mixed now what is the resulting pH value of the solution that is a problem for us here two samples are given wherein both have same normality of the solutions but volumes are entirely different for us now now here we need to calculate first of all what is the normality of the mixture we have to calculate now and then basing on that we need to calculate the pH value of solution here. so that is to say here but both solutions are given 0.5 normal and 0.5 normal only. Though the volumes are completely different here for these two acids here, since normality is same, the concentration of the complete mixture will also remain same for us now. So therefore here in this case, the concentration of HCl will be equal to same that is 0.5 normal only because both the solutions are having same normal there. And one and once when the concentration is given to us, from this we can calculate hydrogen ion concentration which is equal to 0.5. This implies from this we can say it is 5 into 10 to the power of minus 1 we have. Then finally pH is equal to minus of log H plus and that is given by minus of log 5 into 10 to the power of minus 1 we have which comes to it is 1 minus log 5 which is equal to 1 minus log 5 value we can get from the logarithmic tables it is a 0 0.6990 will come which is equal to 0 0.3010 is the answer. Now in this particular problem here since uh, concentrations both are same HCl solutions only and concentrations are same only thing is volume is different whenever volume is different we need not see because concentrations are same and compound is same. Concentration of the head cell also remains the same for us now. So this is going to be the final solution that is 0 0.3010 we have now. Dear students, in this episode, lo, acids and basis topic gurinchi tell us Mari next episode lo ide topic ku sambandhinchi marinni interesting amsalanu telusukundam stay tuned kb television ap's first education channel